made the light looks a little bit yellow today is october 12th last week i showed how i built these industrial bars here that i got on amazon yesterday i went to home depot to finally buy these boards i went into home depot thinking that i knew exactly what i needed i measured everything so like I got the sizes correct like I got the sizes right but I got the wrong wood so basically this wood is not for shelving to be honest the guy that was there wasn't really helping I feel like he was a little bit annoyed that I didn't know exactly what I wanted and so he didn't really give me options of what else I could have looked for so I ended up getting this one which was I don't even know what it is it looks like it's three thin ones glued together to make one thicker one and yeah it's not it's not the right one because eventually it's just gonna warp from the middle because of the weight it's okay i'm just gonna use this for now because my room right now is a mess i'm gonna put my boots and some of my shoes underneath like on my floor i'm gonna use the first rack and the second rack for my jeans and then my pants and then whatever else i need if i have extra i'll put that on the this one and then i'm gonna use the top one for my purses and my bags come and organize with me i guess i'm gonna go ahead and bring all of my jeans um yeah i have a lot a lot of jeans i didn't realize how many i had until right this moment yeah i have a problem i can't possibly keep all of them i'm gonna be decluttering while i organize this so i'm just gonna make a pile and just put jeans there that i can sell or give away don't have a lot of sweatpants like i thought that i would so i'm just gonna go through them really quickly and then just finish the pants part change my shirt because i was washing dishes and i have a terrible habit of drying my hands on my shirt so there was like these two huge splotches that was embarrassing to show so i had to change my shirt i think this is for the most part done um i have a mess on my floor of like clothes that i put aside while i was decluttering 
okay i just want to show my progress it's coming along okay so i finished well kind of this part is still kind of just random things that i don't know if i want to keep yet um but everything else is done all of my jeans are done this is everything that i'm gonna post on my poshmark i feel like i'm living my walk-in closet dream here this is all of my clothes here i actually also bought this on amazon it's the exact same like bars as these except this is like an actual like clothing rack and it's very 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 sturdy like i have a lot of clothes on there and there's no bends it doesn't feel flimsy at all same with this one they're very strong be this mirror by the way i bought at urban outfitters two years ago now it has been one of my most expensive purchases ever but i loved it then and i still love it now i'm so happy that i finally have like this little room to put myself together a little about two weeks ago we went to walmart and i came across this this caught my eye right away because of the very interesting flavors i usually don't like flavored coffee i drink it sometimes if there's a time of the year where i should be drinking flavored coffee is the fall i've already tried two so i left this one here so i can remember the names but this is i tried the banana bread flavored one and then i also tried the pumpkin spice flavored one but i threw that one away because i forgot that i wanted to show you guys what this looked like the coffee itself is not the strongest coffee i like my coffee to be really strong and this is not like the strongest coffee out there but it's not bad and the flavor of the coffee again like these are very interesting flavors like i have sugar cookie maple pecan apple cider very interesting flavors but the ones that i've tried so far are not so overpowering so yeah By the way, I'm getting my I'm getting my haircut today. Like I wanna I do wanna keep most of my length, um, but I do want a lot of layers. Cause my hair has layers, but it has it at the bottom, like towards the back. You can't really see it when it's all in the front, and it just looks so like flat now. So I was supposed to go this morning, but I called the hair salon, and he actually told me if I could go in today later at five instead because the hairstylist has a doctor's appointment and he's booked the guy that i talked to is booked for today so he asked me if i could go in later today and i was like yes as long as it's cut today i'm okay i washed it this morning because i thought i was gonna go in earlier just so it's already detangled and washed and they just have to cut it so i put it up and hopefully it stays down until later on does anybody else hate getting their hair washed at hair salons like i know it's part of the process but I hate, I hate getting my hair washed at the hair salon. So I just washed it myself, but... I cut my hair yesterday. Okay, so I'm wondering if I should have gone just a little bit shorter because since I have so many layers up here now, it kind of just looks a little bit weird from the bottom, maybe? It definitely reminds me of middle school when, like, emo hair was a huge thing and I had my hair, like, similar to this because I wanted to have, like, that hairstyle. This looks way better than it did in middle school, but it just like it just reminds me of it but i'm wondering if i should have gone just a little bit shorter i don't know what do you guys think 
like <laughs> you can definitely tell from like the back especially how it is like I think I just have to get used to it. I think that I just have to get used to how it feels now because it did not happen. Okay, so hey Berlin. Do you love this box? He really loves this. He loves that he can go all the way to the back, right Berlin? Right? He's been in there for like 10 minutes. Hi, baby.